Hello! Welcome to Common Room's YouTube channel. I'm Lala of Simoy ng Haraya and today we'll be making a skin balm. So the good thing about making a balm is it's very easy to make. You'd only need a few ingredients. In this case, you need four ingredients total. And then you'll be able to finish it in like 20 minutes. So what we'll be doing today is a skin balm. It's an all-around balm. It has a lot of benefits. We'll be using lavender essential oil, which is analgesic. So it will give you some pain-relieving action. It's also antispasmodic. It will help relieve muscles. So if you're working on your projects and you have some muscle pain on your hand, you can use the balm as well. And then it's also skin healing. So if you have itch or burns, you can also apply it on your skin. So to create your balm, we'll be using oils and wax. So for the wax, we'll be using beeswax. And then for the oil, we'll be using virgin coconut oil. And then essential oil, which is lavender essential oil. And then we'll also use vitamin E, which will act as an antioxidant because it helps delay uh, the rancidity of oils. In this recipe, we're using lavender essential oil, but if you have other essential oils at home, you can also play around with it and use it. For example, you want to make a calming balm, so you can use chamomile and lavender, you can use sweet orange and lavender, you can mix and try your other essential oils at home. Step 1. Weigh the ingredients. What we'll do now is we'll combine the virgin coconut oil and the beeswax. So we'll just pour the virgin coconut oil onto the beeswax. And then we prepared a water bath or a double boiler. Step 2, heating phase. Alright, so this is a pan with water and what we'll do is we'll put the container of the virgin coconut oil and beeswax on top of it. So we'll wait until it melts the beeswax. The objective of this is just to melt the beeswax. We don't want to boil the oils. Okay, so the beeswax is already melted. Step 3, cooling down. We'll wait for the uh, oils to cool down. Right now, it's at 148 Fahrenheit, so we need at least 150. And that's when we will add the essential oil. Step 4, adding the essential oil. So we will now pour the essential oil. I'll put around 36 drops for this batch. I'm using 2% in terms of the essential oil content. So vitamin E is an antioxidant. This will help delay the rancidity of the oils that you use. Virgin coconut oil and lavender essential oil, it's also a good hand balm. So as in, it will just moisturize your hand. So it will also relieve your hand from pain or any soreness. But at the same time, it will make your skin moisturized and healed. There are a lot of uses for this balm. So when you pour in the essential oil, it's a must that you reach the correct temperature. Um, it will also have something to do with the texture when pouring the balm onto your container. Pour in your essential oil when it's 115 Fahrenheit and then continue stirring. Right after that, you can already pour it onto your container. If you pour it during the right temperature, your balm will be smoother the texture will be nicer. Step 5, pouring into the container. Okay, so you can start pouring onto your container. And then, you leave it until it hardens. One to two hours is enough. If you want a skincare product that's very easy to make and fast, you can start with making balms. So if you want to make your own 
skin balm. Um, the ingredients in the kit will be available for a limited time only in Common Room's website. Bye! Thank you for watching!